everybody, it's Angie from Color Tree Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. Um, today I have a little journal share for you guys. Um, this was a custom order for my friend Jen. Um, so this is what we came up with. She wanted a journal that was, <coughs> pardon me, um, beads, butterflies, dragonflies, and birds so this is what I came up with for her this is just a little closure she doesn't have to use it it doesn't pop open as of yet this is the ephemera I have not put in yet so um, this is a five five and three quarters by eight and three quarters journal with a one and a half inch spine here. Um, I have a small tassel and it's just clipped on and can be removed. It's got some mixed metals here on it and lots of trims and fabric pieces and some uh, fun fur. So I hope she likes that take it off so we can get into this. This uh, bird image is actually um, a graphics fairy image and I used my silhouette to cut it out. And I made the little bird a nest with some, uh, there's a fabric backing with some cheesecloth and some more of that um, leaf trim and a couple of little mini doilies I crocheted and some Hobby Lobby yarn, or uh, what is that? It's lace. And I just put a little gem in the front. And if you open it up, the front covers here are some of that fabric that I showed you guys. I found at Walmart. They only had just a little bit left. So I got a little bit of it. And uh, these images here are my new kit. Well, it's not really a kit. It's an eight-page set of papers for uh, journaling on my Etsy shop. And this is the first um, pocket. You can put that in there. Put this in here. This bird here is from Lindsay Zanor's. Um, I want it. It's either the Beauty of the Earth or the one with all the birds. I can't remember offhand. <laughs> this is uh, some of the many types of uh, napkins that I have and I just used the iron-on method with the plastic wrap and it worked out really well. I've got some stamping and some trim sewn on. I went with a dark blue to contrast with the colors and then she said she wanted um, tuck spots for pictures and photos and stuff so um, I gave her a few of those I don't know what she wants tucked I mean I know she wants photos but I don't you know I left her some uh, different size here and there then this is a graphics fairy pocket and it's just clipped on with a dangly charm we have some stamping uh, stencil paper. Since we went with a theme of greens and blues and purples, I decided to use this kind of ledger paper. This pocket here is in my Etsy shop. Also, or no, it's not on my in my Etsy shop. It's on my Facebook page. This is a freebie. There's four of them on the page. So it's just a tuck spot. Some purple dragonflies. This is that um, masking paper. I'm in love with this stuff. So <laughs> then here we have another image here from uh, my paper. I just cut it out and put some of. Remember the the rug I took apart? That's part of some of the. Whoops, sorry. Fabric that comes out of it or came out of it. There's some more. These are all sparkly gin. I know you like sparkly stuff too. So, um, 
This is in my shop. There's a set of five of them. That's just a tuck spot. I might have to go shut my door because it sounds like the kids are getting feisty. Let me do that real quick. <laughs> I can't hear myself think with three children playing around. Um, Tuesdays are, are the hubby's day off, so I get a little bit of a reprieve. Um, there's some stamping from one of the new stamps I got down at um, Tuesday morning. Well, the beginning of the year. I've only used it a few times. <laughs> there's another one of those and some butterfly stamps. And this one says friend. There's another bee pocket. And this is a silhouette image, and this is a graphics fairy image. Oh, and these are just book pages that I layered together and sewed around and then painted with... This one I think I did acrylic paint, a little bit of acrylic, because my gesso is upstairs right now. There are some more dragonflies. Here is a butterfly um, paper clip. And this is some more graphics fairy images. I just put a little, it looks like a mushroom. It's a bead cap and a little teardrop bead on there. Let's see. And another bee. And for all the vintage, I've done a few sparkly pages. This is the Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. And I laid some dry, uh, bees over it so that it would leave a bee impression. There's another card from my shop. These are gold. another tuck spot and with this one I glued this side so this can be a double tuck some more dragonflies butterflies this is just scrap of paper did a little bit of a punch there another bird stamp Spot. This is Calico Collage. It says, wherever life plants you bloom with grace. And Jen is one of the most grateful, gracious, and graceful people I think I've ever come into contact with. She is a sweetheart and a half. Here is a vintage, this was a vintage pin. I nipped off the pin end and filed down the rough spots and um, tried to make it, you know, as non- pokey as possible <laughs> and put it on a paper clip and there's a little bird stamp says hello and that paper clip is holding in another floating pocket with butterfly images from the graphics fairy and there is a corner tuck with one of the uh, bees that I use to make the bee image. There's some more bees and butter or butterflies and dragonflies. I need to find a bee stamp. I went and I looked at two different stores around here and I couldn't find one. And then the ones that I did find that I liked online would have taken forever and a day to get here because of course, you know, they were from China. Some more um, napkin decoupage and this one is decoupaged on some of that vintage ledger that's an image from my shop and I did some Tim Holtz stenciling here I really love that little girl 
that image. All of these images on these pages, um, I'm pretty sure all of them came from the Graphics Fairy. There's some more. Uh, Patricia Vermontis style. Um, what do you call the the, the paper, full of paper flowers? And then one of my crochet doilies. And that is. Please excuse my nails. I just realized how icky they are. I was dying papers last night. <laughs> um, that's just one of those uh, perler beads that I melted to make a faux enamel dot. And this butterfly is from the Graphics Fairy. Some more bees. And the bee is also from the Graphics Fairy, which I used my silhouette to cut it out. There's some more uh, photo corners. There's a little bit of napkin decoupage. I wanted to leave this with plenty of room for her to jot down memories and take pictures of all of her nieces and nephews. And I will say this, being an Etsy shop owner has allowed me to come into contact with some really awesome people. There's another image. I sure hope I'm in frame. Ugh. Not all the way. Look at me. What a goob. More. And these are not all glued down. Not all of them. Because some of them I've noticed, Jen, whenever you put them in there, um, they don't fit how I put the glue on like I wanted them to, so I left some of these open so that you could fit even larger images if you wanted to. See like with this, you could fit an image that's wider than the 4x6. So, there's another B image. And this dragonfly, I really like how this little pocket came out with the purple fabric and the bird uh, trim here. Oops. I think I put 11 pages in and there are six signatures. So there are 22 pages per signature. It's just a graphics fairy uh, pocket, and there's a little bird dangle on that. There's another corner tuck. Some more sparkly blue. Oh, this is Cherish, and it has the definition on it. More butterflies, graph paper, some more of the bees, and some more bee images. Butterfly pocket with some purple uh, lace behind it. And that's actual vintage lace. Here's some purpley blue corner tucks. There's some vintage trim there. Another bird pocket. We are almost done with the last signature. There's another cluster of butterflies. There's some more places for photographs. <clears throat> and that's the end. I really like this fabric. So, um, as far as the ephemera goes, this is what I have for this book. I have, I made these for you, Jen, a while back. You may have watched the video of the playing cards. 
I was going to mail them to you, but then you ordered this book, and uh, I thought maybe you would like to incorporate that between this and any of the other ones that you have. And this is part of the graphics fairy. I left the extra paper on because I like the way it looked. Um, there's some washi tapes. This is uh, from Calico Collage. It says today. Here's some Tim Holtz washi on this bird image. And some uh, leaf trim in the bird uh, trim that you said you like. Here's back with purple paper and this is a design of my own. I made these especially for this book. And then this one says your wings already exist. All you have to do is fly. Some more calico collage. And this is a little pocket here also. So if you wanted to paper clip that in, you could do that and have a floating pocket. If not, you can write on it. And this is graphics fairy uh, cardstock, well printed cardstock. And you have some of these little books for writing. You can keep them or you could give them to one of the kids to write some memories in and then ask for it back so that you could keep those memories. And I'm pretty sure that completes everything I have for this journal. So thanks for stopping by and watching. Jen, thank you for uh, being such a wonderful person to work with. I always love it when we get together and collaborate. And, uh, yeah, this is it. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, thanks for stopping by. I will talk to you later. Bye.